Hello, College for Kids! My name is Layla Bryant, and I attended College for Kids for a decade, I think, about 10 years. I started in 1998, which is actually kind of scary because I just did the mental math on that, and I'm pretty sure some of you weren't born yet. So, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sue, for reminding me of how old I am. <laughs> That's okay. My most memorable moment at College for Kids isn't actually a single moment, um, but a series of them. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I sometimes felt a little lost um, in like regular world, as I would call it, which was any part of the world that was not College for Kids, um, being cute little nerdlet like I was. Um, but there was always that moment when I first came to College for Kids, the very first day, and Sue would come out of the woodworks. Like, I swear, you wouldn't see her coming at all. The woman is a ninja. And she would come out of nowhere, and she would sing to me um, the song that we had that I cannot do justice, so I will not try. Um, but she would sing to me, and I would just feel so at home and so at peace like, I was finally in the place that I should be, and I would just know that this was going to be another just, like, absolutely fantastic summer. What up, CK? This is Calvin. And this is Price. And we've been going to CK for almost 14 years. Yeah! Yeah! This year, we were both on the Southern Moon Boys soccer team. We made it to the Final Four and barely fell short of a state championship, getting second place. Oh. As you can see, soccer is a big part of our life, but we've had to work hard to get good. We were most recently named to the Missouri State All-State Team. <laughs> so Price, what's your most memorable things about CK when you were a camper? Oh jeez, there's so many! Like what? I mean like the people I met, like all the friendships I made. The RAs were always awesome. Oh yeah. I mean they were awesome. Uh, you can't forget about the actual activities. The ice cream fight was awesome. Oh, and the talent show. Those were really cool. You I feel like I've used the word awesome a hundred times. But that's how I have to describe it. Uh, the d dance parties were awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. Things flying Wait, there. you hear that? I do. You know what yeah. that means. What does it mean? Dance party! Sorry about that, guys. We got in the CK party mode and just got carried away. But you know what I mean, Sarah, don't you? We're looking at you, Jacob, right there in the back. Oh, you know he you. is looking at you, Jacob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk to some people about, get some advice about how to enjoy CK to the fullest. I mean, come on, you don't even need it, but we'll talk to him anyway. You could say they went to CK a long time ago. I mean, a long like, time ago. way back when. Like dinosaurs, like, Arr. Hello kids. You know, I remember back when I went to CK a long time ago, the fire truck was merely a wagon and a hose. And we had to milk our own milk from the only cow to get our own ice cream. It was still fun though. You know, I had the best teachers back then. Mr. George Washington taught a fantastic class about government and politics. <laughs> and Sue and Marilyn were in our class back in school. They were always the most fun between our class. They would always be the first out to the ice cream fight, first out for rec time. We always knew they were going to do great things. They were some real wild ladies back then. <laughs> oh, you don't even want to know. But if there is one thing we could tell you about CK, it's to enjoy your time here. Once you get old like us, you can't have as much fun. But you can always remember the days you had at CK. You'll never forget these memories. They will truly stay with you forever. And ever. And ever. So what we're trying to get out of this is all you gotta do is just live a little. Get crazy. Sing on. Dance. Show your true colors and just have fun. Woo! CK. Um, my name is Anna Guyette, 
and I love College for Kids. My favorite thing about College for Kids is that everyone is just like you and it's so easy to make friends. Don't be afraid to talk to people because you can make some of the best friends of your life there. Um, I went to CK for three, four years as a camper and then I worked for two. I would be returning this summer as an RA, but I am studying abroad, hence the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So unfortunately, I will not be able to make it. But just enjoy every second you have of CK because it goes by so fast and you'll remember it forever. CK rocks! Hi guys, my name is Alex Menendez and I was a CK camper for seven years and this will be my third year working. I am currently a senior at St. James High School and will be attending Truman State University in the fall. CK really affected my life because I was kind of a shy kid and I was the only one from my school that was going to CK, so it kind of forced me to get out there and make new friends just from scratch. So some words of wisdom to you guys would be to just go out there and talk to someone that you've never talked to before, never hung out with, maybe have never met before, and just have a conversation with them and make new friends. Because what's the point of being at CK with all these great kids if you're not going to make a friend out of every single camper? Hey, culture kids. Uh, I'm just recording this video um, to talk to you guys about a couple things. So I will just get started. Um, three weeks ago, I was moving out of my college dorm uh, at Notre Dame for the last time. It was every year, but for the last time because I was graduating. And the hallways were empty, and all the rooms were completely bare, which is sort of a weird thing at college, because those rooms start to feel like your apartment. Everyone has their own thing going on in their room, you have posters and furniture, and um, it feels like home. So when they're all empty and they look the same, they have the same dorm room furniture, it's very weird walking past all of them. And it reminded me a lot of how CK is after all of you leave. And... um all this life and magic that is that had been there just a second ago is gone and you feel so so sad that that thing is over and it's kind of weird I guess that a week of camp and um, four years of college can feel the same but they do I promise you they do and I think that's a testament to how much Marilyn and Sue really set out to just prepare you guys for everything that you're capable of doing um, that CK feels like the way college feels when it ends. So, sitting here as a college graduate, um, I guess the question is, what can I tell you? Like, I'm supposed to tell you something. And you'd think that I'd be sitting here with all the answers, even though I promise you I'm not. And I'm sitting here on my bed in my parents' house, probably like you guys would be any other night of the week. And it doesn't feel different than it did before I was a college graduate. I still feel like a kid, and the world is simultaneously big and scary, but also makes me desperate to join it. Um, this is a very conflicting feeling, and I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Um, but I guess I just want to tell you that I worked really hard in high school to be able to get to go to a good college, and I worked really hard in college to hopefully get a good job. And when I was younger, I think I thought, I had this perception that if you do those things, someone will just hand you an awesome job and you get your diploma. It's like you walk across the stage and you're just like, oh yeah, and here's your job at Google or here's your job at the New York Times or here's your job at Warner Brothers Studios and it would be really cool. And you would have earned that because you, you did a good job. You worked hard. Um, and then when I was even younger, I think I thought that it was just enough to be smart. As long as you showed up and you were smart, that you would be fed. And all of you are smart. You are so smart. Every summer you freak me out with how smart you are. And all of you know things that I will never know. And you have gifts that I could never possibly have. So I guess the most adult advice that I can give to you is that it is not enough to be smart. Even though it probably feels like it should be. Um, as hard as you work in high school, you'll have to work twice as hard in college. And as hard as you work in college, my guess is you'll probably have to work twice as hard when you take that next step, whatever it will be. And 
the only advice that I can really give to you is to figure out what you love and figure out who you are and to work as hard as possible in combination with how smart you are in combination with how talented you are to make that happen and you're all like five huge steps ahead of the game because you're in a place at CK that helps you figure that out. It's already geared to help you figure out what you love. That's why you're taking all those classes and making all these friends and having all these conversations late at night when you're supposed to be sleeping and we come to knock on your doors. You're in a place that is just completely designed to help you figure out who you are. And that holds true for the RAs too. Um, as an RA at College for Kids, I mean, I just, all the people that I've been with and all the experiences that I've had, even as, you know, an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old, just helped me figure out what I wanted, who I was, and the kind of person that I wanted to be. And as long as you figure that out and you work really hard and you use what you have, you'll be okay. So I guess the last thing that I want to add is that whoever you are and whoever CK has touched your life, um, I can't wait to watch how you change the world bit by bit because that's, that's exactly what all of you are capable of doing and whoever you choose to use your gifts and how smart you are and whatever else you figure out here and you learn, I know that all of you are going to make make the world better in some way and that is really all I know so so son are you excited about your first year at CK gosh pops I'm a little bit nervous about going to camp oh you have nothing to be nervous about I'm calling the experts there. I'm Barkley. It sure is nice to meet you guys. You seem great. Hey Barkley, my name's Tilly. I went to CK for 12 years and I'm still coming back. My favorite memory of CK would have to be all the talent shows I was in. Do you have any talents? Well, uh, I like throwing the frisbee. I'm pretty good at that, <coughs> but I don't know if it's a talent. Wow Barkley, I love frisbee. My talent is soccer. I worked so hard at soccer that I got a scholarship to play in college. This fall, I'll be starting my senior year at Illinois Wesleyan. If you work hard at, enough at Frisbee, you can get a scholarship to play. Everyone at CK has talents. Cool! I'll work really hard. Barkley, it's so great to meet you. My name's Audrey, and I loved college for kids so much that I went there when I was 8 or 9 years old, and I worked until I was 25. You can do the math. It was so fun. I worked as an RA and I worked in the office with Sue in Maryland. This is the first year I'm not doing CK and I'm a little sad. I'm really going to miss out on all the fun you're going to be having. Now I have a job in a law office and I get to do all kinds of fun business stuff. So maybe if you take one of the business classes, you'll get to see what kind of things I do all the time. And at camp, my favorite thing is that you can be goofy and fun and do stuff like this. Yes! You try! Uh, that was easy. I'm good at that. Nope. Hey Barkley, I'm so excited you're going to college for kids. My name's Rye and I went to CK for a really long time. I went as a camper, an RA, and I worked in the office with Sue in Maryland. My favorite part of college for kids is living in the dorms and making new friends and feeling like I'm actually at college. In fact, I love college so much, I never left. Huh? Never left? What's that mean? Now I work at the University of Missouri and my whole job is telling people how great college is every day. Maybe when you get older you can come see at me at Mizzou. Sounds great, Rye. Tilly, I'm gonna work so hard at Frisbee and be the best. Audrey, oh, you're over there. <laughs> I can't wait to see all the classes I could take. I might even do that pretzel trick for that talent show. I just can't wait to get to camp. It's going to be awesome! Before you go to camp, there is one thing you should know. Hi, I'm 
I'm Mita. And I'm Hannah. And my first year at College for Kids was in 2000. I had just finished fifth grade. My first year was in 1999, and I had just finished fourth grade. And Hannah and I um, actually met my first year at camp. And it was my second year, but we met in the class, um, it was called CASA, it was the NASA Spaceship Simulation class, and we were both the um, fake doctors uh, for, the, for the class. So we became really good friends that year, and since then, um, every year at camp, we were roommates, and um, even after we were done with College for Kids, after five years of being roommates at camp, we were RAs together and um, worked together and had such a good time. We became so close over those, oh man, how many years? Like 12 13 years. 13 years or something. Yeah. <laughs> something something really, long. really long. As long as you've been alive. And um, so then even though we went to college in different cities, we stayed really good friends over the years. And um, so three years ago, we both found out that we were going to be in the same medical, medical school class here at Mizzou, up in Columbia. So... Finally, after 13 years of being friends and never living in the same city, um, we are both living here in Columbia together and are still really good friends. Yeah, so we were really lucky to have College for Kids um, help us get to meet each other and to become friends and to stay friends. I grew up in Columbia and Hannah grew up in Jeff City, and so I, I can officially say that Hannah is my oldest friend in Columbia because... Uh, even the people I went to high school with, I haven't known as long as I've yep. known Hannah. Yep, Mita is my oldest friend, too. So, <clears throat> so I guess we can talk about our favorite memory yeah. from camp. Uh, we kind of share the same favorite memory. Uh, it was one of the pranks that we pulled um, one of the years. That's probably the reason that Sue makes sure that everybody approves all of the pranks now with her ahead of time, so, Oops. um, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, um, but the prank, I don't know, go ahead. Yeah, we can explain the prank to you, so you don't get mad at us. We're not giving you any ideas, but, um, I don't remember who these girls were, but we, um, pranked these two girls that were, I think they were younger than us, I guess we weren't, probably, we weren't being very nice, <laughs> but it, um, was a really good prank, I'm not gonna lie, what we did was, we took these balloons, like full-size balloons, and we put water and shaving cream in them and blew them up to normal size. And we tacked them, or we taped them to the door frame on the inside of the room. And somehow we, I don't even know, I don't know if I could redo we took, this. We tied them with string and taped them to the door so that somehow when the door opened, it pulled the balloons into... Into pins, like pins. Tacks. <laughs> and they popped all over... <laughs> All over the girls who made a really there. huge mess yeah. all over the place. But it it worked. <laughs> I'm surprised it worked. It was but genius. I still remember <laughs> Hannah, like, someone had to be on the inside of the room to get the stuff up. <laughs> but then you couldn't open the door too wide or you'd pop the balloons on yourself. So Hannah had to, like, shimmy through the door. But it worked. Through. I and was then, a small fourth grader. Yeah, so <laughs> I think we were a little bit older. We were probably a little older. We're probably a little, yeah. But anyway, a so more rebellious. <laughs> but that it's funny that we both have the same favorite memory. Um, and now we are still still pretty goofy. We still like to have a good time. I yeah. think college for kids helped us get out of our, out of our shell. I was, I was pretty shy, but then when I got to college and joined my sorority, I I felt like I could be more confident and I just I felt like College for Kids really helped me with that, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I think it's just really helped me um, kind of, it was something that I did that a lot of my other friends and a lot of other people that I knew didn't have that great experience, and so I think it was just something that kind of made made me who I am, and I was the first in my family to go, and my, then my sister ended up going later, so it was just a really awesome experience for me too, so... Now we're getting ready to finish medical school, so we're going to be doctors. Um, in a year. So yeah, a year. in a year. But um, but I have decided I want to be um, an OBGYN, which is the type of doctor that delivers babies. So I'm pretty excited about that. That should be pretty fun. Yeah, and I'm going to do internal medicine. Um, so that's an adult doctor. And then maybe oncology, which is a cancer doctor. So Yeah, she'll fight cancer. <laughs> but, yeah, so we wanted to make a video together to show you 
how good of friends College for Kids made us and um, how much we love College for Kids. We still talk about it. Oh, I think coincidentally we were wearing these shirts. I don't think yeah, we planned it. Yeah, I think we it. both just yeah. found them in our drawer today and pulled them out. Yeah. So, we'll leave you with a joke. What did the Atlantic Ocean say to the Pacific Ocean, Hannah? I don't know, Mina. What did it say? Nothing. It just waved. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Hey CK, I'm Anna Opie. I was um, an office helper, um, an RA, and the medic from 2000 to 2011, and um, I loved camp. I still think about it all the time. Um, I think my favorite part was were the skits and the dressing up and the being as goofy as we wanted to be, because you don't get to do that every day in the work world, but I loved that part about camp. Uh, I work in an architecture firm now. Uh, it, we are I help to get permits for some of the projects that we work on, and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy my coworkers a lot. Um, I would say uh, for you guys just to enjoy yourselves, to let your guard down, um, and you'll always look back at College for Kids with with uh, fond memories. I know I do. All right, I missed you guys a lot. CK rocks. Bye. Hey, hey, CK. My name is Cheyenne Gatson, and I have been at College for Kids for 12 years now, um, RAing and being a camper. My favorite CK memory would be anything having to do with Dr. Prater's classes um, concerning drama and musical theater. Today, I am a senior English major at Hannibal LaGrange University in Hannibal, Missouri. I'm hoping to use my degree to become a writer and an editor for what publishing company will have me. Hopefully, um, I'll get to write and publish a novel. That's my, my goal. CK um, has given me the confidence that I have today and played a large role in making me who I am as far as relating to others, and the way I view myself as a gifted student. My advice to you as a camper would be to take advantage of the opportunity that you have here at College for Kids. Seize the day, campers. Use your CK experience to flourish and grow. Um, continue to challenge yourself. Grow your mind and grow your friendships and your people skills. Um, you can't even imagine how the friendships and the teamwork that you build here will come in to play in the future. So have a great week, campers. CK, rock. Go CK. The most valuable lesson that I learned at College for Kids, as if there weren't like 10 million, um, would probably be perseverance and not the knowledge that you can really do anything and work through anything when you know that what you're working towards or what you're doing is invaluable and like awesome. Um, and so that leads me to a story that I tell pretty often when I go back to college for kids. And it's about my very first year when I was a teeny tiny little nine year old, um, my first sleepaway camp. And I just had really bad luck. Starting with my very couple first days there, I got a really horrible inner ear infection. And so I had to go to the hospital. And then a couple days later, I broke my finger in an emergency fire exit door. I had to go back to the hospital. And then actually, as I was leaving camp that year, I twisted my ankle on a sidewalk. So, you know, a few struggles, a few problems. But it was all really okay because Sue and Marilyn, who are the most wonderful, beautiful women in the entire world, um, took such good care of me and they were so fantastic. And they fed me Taco Bell, which, as we all know, cures most ills. And so when my mother would call frantic because I was in the hospital and she would say, oh, honey, don't worry, I'm coming to get you, I would start crying and I'd be like, no, I wasn't crying before, but thought of leaving because making me cry. Please let me stay. So my mom thought I was a little crazy and thought of taking me to a different kind of hospital, but did not, thank goodness. And so I got to stay at College for Kids, which was just the absolute perfect place for me. Today, I am a lot of things. I am a Harvard graduate. I studied English literature and folklore and mythology. Bet you didn't know you could do that. And I'm a medievalist, a comic book scholar, 
I am a fantasy lore scholar. I finished my first ever fantasy novel, so I'm a novelist now working on getting that published. I'm also a teacher. I'm a high school English teacher on a Native American reservation in New Mexico. I'm going to go to grad school and then do who knows what with my life, but lots of exciting doors are still open for me. And I like to think of that as being the lesson of all of the crazy things that I've done with my life, um, that I can show to you guys that you really can do anything you want to do. The sky is literally the limit for you guys. People are always saying, oh, you can grow up to whatever you want. And that's not actually always true for everyone, but it is true for you guys. But you have to start now. You have to start working for it now. And you're not doing it for other people. You're doing it for you because that's what's going to open all of the doors that you want to open later. And that's what's going to get you the opportunities to study Batman for a living. Um, that's what's going to get you the opportunities to travel the world or to go to the moon um, or be the president. Um, whatever it is that you want to do, you have to start working now to get there. And then you can literally, literally do whatever you want. It's going to be amazing. And with that being said, I just want to say that College for Kids absolutely rocks and that there is nothing better than CK. Good evening, College for Kids. I'm Alex, um, and I've been going to camp for 10 years now. I went 7 as a camper, and I've been going 3 as an RA. Thank goodness they keep me coming back. Um, my favorite moment from camp was probably one year. I was in the ASL class, and we went to the Missouri School for the Deaf like they normally do. Um, we were taking a tour of the building. When we got outside, we saw that one of the classes was playing kickball. Um, so we went out there, and we all the students went out, and we said hi to all the deaf kids, and they invited us to play kickball with them. We had a great time. We played for an hour or so. And it was a really awesome time, and it's not a memory that I will soon forget. Now, however, I go to college at Drury University. Um, Drury University, sorry. And this is my dorm room. Um, here's all my books and studious activities. I go here to for architecture. That's my major. Uh, this is just a few of the little drawings that I've been doing lately for my latest studies. Um, and that's what I do here. I'm also employed at Hartman Cabinetry uh, back in my hometown. And I've been building cabinet stairs for five years. As one last thing before you go, okay? I just want to tell you that I see all the time on the Facebook page about how you guys are doing, and how you're doing in your hometowns, and I love it. I think it's great. And you guys are always doing your best, and I love that. That's what CK is about, okay? So I just wanted to tell you to keep up your great work and keep doing what you're doing, all right? College for Kids rocks. Go CK. Hello, College for Kids. My name is Rebecca Jones. I was one of the many OP children to attend CK. I was an RA and a medic from 1993 to 2005. Some of my most memorable moments at CK were paddle boating at night and emceeing for the talent show. Today, I am a mother and a special education teacher. Make the most of your time at CK. The memories will last you a lifetime. College for Kids rocks. Go CK! Hey guys, it's Abby. Probably most of you recognize me because I'm still an RA at CK. But I was a camper for four years and I've been an RA for five years. And I just wanted to let you know that I think probably the most important thing that I learned while I was at camp is to really value your friends and to um, really treat people the way that you want to be treated because that will keep being important even after camp um, in college and um, probably in the rest of your life. And so I just graduated from college at American University in Washington, D.C. And I thought that since probably most of you don't know that much about Washington and the city, I would take you around some of the places that I got to intern at while I was um, in college. So here we go. So I thought we'd start with the Washington Monument, which you can see there. There's some scaffolding on it because there was an earthquake and so they're still doing some repairs, but it's pretty cool to just walk around and see it all the time. It's a pretty big landmark that helps me know where I am in the city. And then over here we have the National Museum of Natural History. And I used to intern there and I got to work on a really cool project and I learned a lot about doing research and it was a really fun workplace because I worked with a lot of girls I really liked. And then down there you can see the Capitol at the other end of the mall. Now over here we have the museum, which is where I worked this past semester. 
and it was really cool because I got to work on a research project there and it was a really fun workplace that helped me really grow a lot and the museum itself is all about the media and journalism and then you can sort of see down there in the end you can see the Capitol again from the other side of the mall. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little clip of the museum and the Natural History Museum and a couple of the other monuments and hope you're going to have a great week at camp and just remember that you should all really listen to Sue and she tells you that the biggest rule is respect because that never stops being true. So have fun at camp! Hey guys, it's Abby. Probably most of you recognize me because I'm still an RA at CK, but I was a camper for four years and I've been an RA for five years. And I just wanted to let you know that I think probably the most important thing that I learned while I was at camp is to really value your friends and to um, really treat people the way that you want to be treated because that will keep being important even after camp um, in college and um, probably in the rest of your life. And so I just graduated from college at American University in Washington, D.C. And I thought that since probably most of you don't know that much about Washington and the city, I would take you around some of the places that I got to intern at while I was um, in college. So here we go. Hello, Hello college, college for, for kids. kids. My name is Daniel Loman. And I'm Carrie Loman. And we attended College for Kids as campers for six years. And I was an RA for three years. And I was an RA for five years. My favorite memory of College for Kids is all the camaraderie. College for Kids is one giant family and they stick with you forever. My favorite moments from College for Kids definitely come from my time as an RA. I loved coming back every year and getting to see how much each camper had grown as an individual and how amazing each one of them had become. Today I'm a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. I'm stationed down in Florida where I'm going through school to become an explosive ordnance disposal technician, which is the military bomb squad. I have a degree in biology, but my job changes every time we move. My favorite was being a soil conservationist aide for the USDA and helping farmers preserve their farmlands. And now I am a substitute teacher at the local high school. It's crazy to look back and realize that 10 years ago I was in a class at College for Kids called See the Fire, Hear the Boom, and now it's become my job. So if anything, campers, I just want you to know that you can pretty much do whatever you want to. I think it's really important to remember that as a gifted person, you have an intellectual edge. You look at the world from an, a, a completely different set of eyes, and that's really something that you should treasure and value and always use to your advantage. College, College for Kids, kids rocks. rocks! Go CK! Go CK.